Hi, Bill. Good morning, Ian. Welcome to the BBI. Pleasure to meet you. Thank oh. you. It's nice to be here. It's a beautiful day in this Tortola paradise. Oh, yes. We were very lucky to have this kind of weather with our winds ranging from 5 to 10 to 15 mile an hour. It's a mm. great place. We have a great setting here. We're probably in the sun Just all day long coming in here, plenty of shade, and uh, we really much enjoy it. Ian, when I think of the BVIs, I think of sailing, I think of charter boating, I think of snorkeling. You're involved in fishing, obviously. Tell me about the fishing opportunities that exist here and a little bit about your facility. The fishing opportunities here are fantastic because we have virtually no migration of bonefish and tarp and, and permit, and they're, they're here all year round. So this is a nice opportunity for somebody who's down either chartering or, or down on a, on a crude boat. If they're looking for, if they, if they enjoy angling and they're looking for a, a morning or an afternoon, even a full day to do something different, here's a different sort of activity. To it do. is. It's a very good activity. We have a lot of people that do like that. They like to get off the boat for a day or half a day. Then we get other people that come down for three or four days, either stay with us or stay over at Nanny Keep. And we have virtually everything around here, what, what we need. You know, we have some great bars on the island, great clubs. and Sure do. You know, they really look after people down here. Very friendly, very friendly islands. This is what we call sight fishing, isn't it? This is sight fishing. Explain that to me. We don't go out with a fly rod and just keep casting on it with the water because all you're doing is lining the fish. We go out, we look for the fish, Pacific fish, then we cast at it. And once you've got this fish on the line, the fish go off at 35 mile an hour. It's fantastic. There's no other fish in the world that, that fishes like this. And this is in, in a pink from three inches of water to six mm. inches of water. That sort of sounds like hooking a torpedo if you hook one of those. those Very much fish. so. When they're coming towards you and they're, or they're running away, they do look like torpedoes. But this specialized fishing must require a specialized sort of boat. It does. It requires a boat, you know, like a flats boat that can float in like three inches of water. Mm and you do a lot of polling, and we do a lot of wading as well. Mm -hmm. But with our flats here, we have to use a larger motorboat to get to the flats and when we tow the flats boats. And uh, then when we're at one area, if it's not productive, we can move on to another flat. So you tow the flats boats on scene with a larger boat? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why don't we take a walk down and see the, see the fleet? Let's do that. Okay. Yeah, the boats where they're built in Belize, they're 18 feet long and they're a good beam on them, but they have no center consoles in them so that we can have good clear view for fishing, you know, nothing to get caught up on, even the cleats on the side are tucked underneath and things like that. Everything's very clean. Very Everything's open. very clean. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and what, do they, what do they draw again? Ian? We're drawing about three inches, three and a half inches of water. So we mount up and we're going to go because it's going to take us about 20 minutes to get to the flats where we're going to go. Okay, we're going to run around the other side of yeah. uh, the island, are we? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much, Liz. That ought to be exciting. You see, like the water looks yellowy. Mm -hmm. That's rocks, mm -hmm. big rocks, covered in coral. What's this fly going to imitate? This imitates shrimp. We have two different types of shrimp here. And this just imitates the shrimp with the eyes. And we have shrimps that swim backwards, shrimps that swim forward. And this one here, where it's on the loop, can come round and go all different and angles. Work free. Yeah, and work free. It looks like a variation of a closet. It, it is. is. Yeah. We ready to move in shore? We're ready Great. to move in shore. Thanks, Ian. Yeah. You take a seat up the front there. Diana, you come aboard. Yeah. Will we see the bonefish in that shallow water? Oh, yeah. This well. is the. Uh, what we were talking about earlier on, so that the sharks can't get them, this is why they come up in this water. Mm. You don't have to get out 60 feet, 80 feet or anything. You know, if you can get it out this far, and nicely down like that, and as soon as that hits, strip like this. Okay. Stay in. As soon as that's on, start stripping. Now, when that fish takes the fly, you set the hook with a rod pointed at it, or do you come up with a... When, when we set the hook, yeah. I'll do a dummy set this time. We're coming in, you get mm -hmm. a bite. First of all, we fill a little nudge, then right. we fill a second nudge, and then we strike like that. We right. don't do the trout one over our head. And you can go right out as well. Up. We just go straight at the side. Let him go. No, let him go. 
Once he's gone away from you, and you swing right around behind him. Open the wall this way. Yeah. If you don't get yourself in the ear once in a while. This little leaf here. Come on, come on. Ah. We're going to go down this edge then. Okay. And Ian, these fish will work their way up and down along the edge of the mangroves? Yeah, they'll follow it along. They don't bother with the mangroves, they don't hide in the mangroves or mm -hmm. anything like that. They're just using it as an edge line? Yeah. And when we get down a little bit further, just up here, that's where that grass starts. Mm-hmm. Then we see some up on the flat there. Well, I've worked up an appetite. I don't know about you, Ian. Well, we'll go and get some food. Good and, idea. Uh, then what we're going to do, we're going to move on to another flat, which is about another... All right. Five or six minutes from here, and uh, we will try our luck again. Perhaps we'll uh, be better in Barracuda and get the bone. You were right about the clouds. They do make it a bit difficult up on, the, oh, yeah. on those shower flats, don't they? But this is a great thing here. We have clouds for one minute. Our rainstorms last for about 15 to 20 minutes. And this lot will blow over and we'll have beautiful sunshine again in a minute. That's the good great. guy's good to us.